It came man, the go man. Yow! <laughs> What is up, Joker? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm here for part two of my Japan recap story. So, last I left off, I was at Ariake Stadium with DJ Oh My Marshmallow. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you like seeing One Piece cards open and stuff, and you like my channel, if you push that subscription button, it really helps me out. Also, hitting the like button helps too. It helps my algorithm so I can grow and become a strong pirate. Anyway, let's get into the strip. I don't want to waste more of your time. So, Ariake Stadium, and I just learned that DJ Oh My Marshmallow was somewhere between a marshmallow and a prince. I was amazed. I was amazed that somebody could even come up with this combination of that being real. I think actually it's sort of, there might be something about that in Adventure Time, but even still, this guy, he totally matches it. He looks like a marshmallow and a prince. Oh, and I also forgot to open my box topper last week, so let's shrimp this box topper. Could be something nice. Perona, heck yeah, I'll take it. Any day of the week, I will take that. Any day of the week. What's this box topper? Nekomamushi? How nice would that be? Back to back, just like that? Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Nasty at this game. Yatta! Um, so, all right. So, DJ Oh My Marshmallow. We hung out a lot. We had a great time. We had a lot of heart to hearts. I learned a lot about him. And he came, he, he, I guess I inspired him to start coming up with some of these phrases. Um, these like Japanese phrases that are like kind of ridiculous, but uh, funny. And the one that he came up with that we were, ooh, ooh, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo, just like that. That's kind of wild. That was like first pack. Wow, and I had a, there was a lot of Don Quixote stuff on this trip. Also, I should I should explain about that. But I basically became Don Quixote do Flamingo. I wore this really crazy shiny jacket with this big furry yellow thing in the middle, and kind of got to like Shichibukai status this trip. So that was really cool. So I very much I walked around a lot and said Don Quixote do Flamingo while wearing this jacket, and I had these like orange zigzag pants that kind of look a little bit like his pants. Boom, just that, that's it. That's it for the box, that's crazy, that's wild. That's all the heat, just pulled from it. And those are cards that are good that I need. I think I'm just gonna jump in the next box and try and keep this story to to three, a three part series, I guess. Um, I'll do that, okay. Another box, just like that. Boom, bam, bongo, bango, bongo, bungo. Bunch of nice SRs in there, some lucky duck. Okay, so next to box, wow. This is gonna be a lot of, that, that was, wait, that was just two, no, I opened three packs. Three pack. yeah, three packs, that's wild. That is wild stuff. I'm keeping these out so we can see. All right, next box, boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, so uh, I met this, um, yeah, I met this marshmallow guy, we had a blast, we talked about a lot of things, and he came up with this phrase. His phrase was, um, I was saying like at the end of a lot of phrases that I was saying, I know very little Japanese, but I know enough like from watching anime and like just meeting people that I can like sort of communicate kind of like I can sort of understand what people are saying and I can like fumble my way through a conversation. But at the end of almost every phrase that I say, I say, yow, like, like uh bonkure or like Frankie a little bit. Oh, another Perona. Wow. This is gas. Gasolina. Um, so he really liked this thing that I was doing with the with the uh, making you know it kind of like adds like attention to the to the phrase I think like Japanese people like it because you sort of like in Japanese when you're speaking you like put different parts oh Luffy don't just like that um, you like arrange the words particular to like how you want the meaning to come out sort of I don't know it's kind of hard to describe but. Um, at the end of a lot of the things I was saying, I would say like, yow, or something like that. And, um, he taught me this phrase and the phrase was ikemen de gomen. And then he said at the end, you say, yow, the way that you do. So I started saying that and going around and walking up to people and saying, ikemen de gomen, yow. And, um, <laughs> everybody laughed a lot. And I guess what the phrase means is, uh, ikemen means, um, like handsome and gomen is I'm sorry. So it's like, um, I'm so handsome, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and definitely the most fun uh, place to do it was in Akihabara, there's all these maids that are, you know, trying to get you to come to their cafe so they can do whatever they do in a maid cafe, which I went to one and I will tell that story. Um, but 
yeah, I would say it to them because they're like trying to hand you this piece of paper constantly as like the advertisement for their place. And as I'd walk by, I'd be like, oh, sumo san, ike man, the go man, yow. <laughs> it was like, they would, I think a couple of them like fell over from laughing so hard. <laughs> and um, it's really fun because it's totally harmless. You know, I'm not going to do anything about it. It's not like I'm trying to like make a move. I'm just trying to make people laugh. And it's like pretty entertaining way to spend your afternoons just walking around in these elaborate, ridiculous outfits and walking up to people and saying, I'm sorry, I'm so handsome. <laughs> um, which brings me to my next event. So I, I met this girl at a card shop in Shibuya the last time I was there. She's really cool, really nice, and we connected on Instagram. She's actually like a really good dancer and she really likes Zoro. So I made a bunch of Zoro stuff for her and I brought it to her, but she wasn't working at the, um, she wasn't working at the card shop anymore. She had moved and started working at the Bape Kids store in Harajuku. And I went there and like, you know, I was just planning to like give her some Zaiho and, you know, say what's up and miss ya, whatever. And um, I got there and there's this huge pool of bananas. It's like, it's like a thousand bananas in this like giant puddle. Oh, that's a good pull. Um, and uh, she was like, oh yeah, like if you take your shoes off, you can go in the bananas. And I was like, wow okay all right like i'm in so um i uh made a I made a couple videos of me falling into the bananas which you may have seen on my instagram or you know youtube shorts or something like that but i started realizing i was like oh man there's like so much potential in this pool of bananas like i have to go back and i went back a couple times to do more videos in the bananas um because there were just so much that could be done with these bananas oh, 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 oh. what law Dofi and uh, Luffy in a box, in a case so far. That's wild. This is wild. This is wild stuff. Watch out. Abu Nai. Yow. Um, so, yeah. So, I made a bunch of uh, banana pool videos, which you can see on my different social channels if you check them out. Um, got some really good content. The bananas were really fun. Made a bunch of friends. But then the last day I went with Marshmallow and my other friend who I met through like YouTube, Dragon Ball, Facebook stuff. Um, and I think when like all of us were going in the bananas, the other girl that was working there was like, yeah, this bananas pool is just for kids, which I was able to pass before because maybe I'm just a large kid trapped in a man's body. Um, but once my friends went, they were like, yeah, all right, like get these guys out of here. Like no, no playing in the bananas. But I felt bad because there were these people there that were like looking to buy stuff. So I like persuaded them to uh, buy some more vape products. And I let their kids try my jacket on and take some pictures. I gave them some cards and made some more friends that are in Taiwan actually. So I may be going to Taiwan. And the guy was like, oh my God, you're so famous. You have so many followers. I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not famous. <laughs> I'm just a homie that likes to strip them. What can I say? Um, so yeah, that was the that was the bait banana party time. And then uh, I think what I'm gonna talk about in my last video, which I'll give a little prelude to now because I only have like three packs left here, is Japonica. I don't know if it's actually called Japonica, but I have this friend, DJ Kuromari, who's really cool, really awesome DJ. And she puts on these events that are like all Japanese, oh, doofy. Um, that's it in this box. They're all just like Japanese anime openers. That's all they play. It's like completely only Japanese anime openers. And it was unlike anything I've ever encountered before. And I'll talk a little bit more about it in my next video. But before I end this one, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip is one that revolves around the tip of your tooth. This is the crown tip and then the top of the root is the apex. Teeth don't really have a top and the bottom because they're like on the top and the bottom and they switch directions. So you have to talk about anatomical references. So when you talk about the anatomy of the tooth, the tip really could be the apex, which is the top of the root or the tip of the crown, which is called the occlusal surface or incisal surface. That's your dental anatomy lesson. Let me know if you have any more dental anatomy questions. Sang, kyu, gozaimasu, and I'll see you guys next time.